Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we will learn how to do headless browser execution on Catalon Studio or how to run your web UI test cases on a headless browser. So headless browser is a browser without a GUI and when you run your test cases in a headless mode or a headless browser, you will not see it, see the UI coming or you will not see any browser opening on the screen and it will happen in the background. So we have options to run our tests on Catalon Studio on multiple browsers and we also have option for headless browser. So I will go to my Catalon Studio and uh, let me just show you the version I am using. So I will go to help and say Catalon help and this is the version I am using which is 6.0.4 and I have this uh, project here which is empty as of now I can create a new test case so I will go here right click and say new test case I can name it anything I will say this is test one and hit ok and I have this test case here I can start creating my test steps and before uh, I go there let me also show you if I go to this run button and go to the drop down you can see we have all these options we have Chrome, Firefox, IE, Safari and then we have these two options for headless. So we have Chrome and Firefox in headless mode and these two browsers have the headless version so that is why it is here and you can also go to your project and go to your settings and here if you go to desired capabilities and go to web UI you can see you will find a option to set any desired capabilities for Chrome headless and Firefox headless. So just in case you want to uh, add any properties or capabilities for your headless browsers you can add it here and here if you go to Catalon website or documentation I will say Catalon Studio headless browser and here you will see there is a documentation on headless browser and here it is. I will also make this URL available in the notes so that you can refer it in the notes and all these notes will be available to you. And here you can see. So headless browser testing is simply testing a web page functionality without a GUI present. And one of the biggest reason will be if you are uh, testing uh, it on a Linux system or you are doing testing on a C in a CI CD process and you do not have a system which supports uh, physical browsers or browsers with UI you can use this and then we have this documentation on configuration you can see this desired capabilities that I have already shown you so suppose you want to set the window size and other things you can set it like this and this is how you can run your test so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a very simple login test I will go to this website which is orange HRM and here you can see we have this uh, login using this username admin and password admin 123 and I will record this. So in this test to create a test very quickly I will record it. So I will go to the main toolbar and hit on record web and this will open the web recorder window and you can see this is the window and this is the application I am going to record which is orange HRM application. I will click and record on a Chrome browser and you can see this is the application so I'm going to do login give a username password hit login button and then I will just go to some of the tabs here and that's it I do not want to record any a longer test I will stop it and I can run it from here to verify the recording is fine and all the steps are running so this goes to the application and logs in and yes so everything is fine I will uh, say ok and ok here to add all the objects and this has created my test and if I go to the script view you can see these are the scripts generated so just to verify I will run it on a physical browser or a browser with a UI first so I am running it on a Chrome browser and this opens a Chrome browser and runs the test and everything is fine now I will just try it out on a headless browser now the good thing with 
Catalon Studio is you do not have to do any settings or any any setup uh, unless you want to change any default values you can just go here and click on the headless browser you want to run so I will select Chrome headless and as I told you you are not going to see anything on the screen or any browser so we can see the locks to check if the execution is going on fine so it it is running all the steps and you can see everything is successful if I go to the tree view and the other view you can see all these are here and I can just select only pass and see everything is pass okay so uh, similarly you can also run on uh, Firefox headless again it should run without a GUI and let me see the logs and you can see it is running and everything is working fine and all the steps are done and the test is successful now if you are running uh, in a test suite so if you I just create a new test suite and say this is test suite 1 and I will add my test case here again uh, we have the option to run from this drop down on the GUI or we can uh, create a command to run from command line so if you go to build CMD here you can select the test suite and then we can select the browser from here so we can select the headless browser and then generate the command and we can use this command to run from command line and if you have test suite collection so if I create a new test suite collection here if I add the test suite you can see we have the option to select the browsers from here so the advantage with test suite collection is you can actually uh, run the test suite multiple times on different browsers so I can actually add the same test suite again here and I can select this time Firefox headless and I can test with both the headless browsers so uh, this is how very quickly and easily you can run your test cases on headless browsers in Catalon Studio I hope this session was very useful I will meet you in the next session of Catalon Studio thank you for watching